welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be setting up the home car seat stroller pictured there. I just pulled it out of the box and this is one of those car seat strollers where you pop your car seat on and you can wheel them around. It's usually used in airports and this is for when your child grows out of their baby car seat because the infant car seat they typically clip into a stroller and you're on your way but when they get a little bit older the car seats are a little bit bigger i also have a travel car seat that i just purchased it's the costco sonera car seat so we're all we're just going to try and put this together all right i just opened the box the car seat stroller caddy is there inside the box there was also these extra grip things that you could stick onto the caddy and then there was also, it looks like a airplane buckle that was included. And then were the instructions. So the first side is thank you. The other side are the step-by-step -step instructions. So there are six steps. We're gonna walk through each of them. So let's start with step one, which is open the transporter and extend the handle. So that kind of snaps into place. And then there's a button on top that you press and the handle telescopes out. And then let's go, step two. Put the car seat on the transport and pull it snug against the handlebars. Okay. There's my Costco Sierra car seat. Put it on here. Snug as it's gonna get. All right. Step three. Take the seat belt attachment through the seat belt anchor gap in the back of the car seat. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that strap. Do your thing. First, let's loosen the strap. So let's go ahead and tighten it up. All right, and that's as tight as it's gonna get. Hold on, oh wait, there's still all the slack in here. On the strap. Well, step three. Okay. Step four, buckle. We just did that. Um, step five, tighten it. Okay. And then step six, use the latch system to further secure the seat to the roller. The strap should go over the crossbar and attach to the metal axle under transporter B. Okay. So I think this is the latch system on the car seat in the back. It's like that back strap kind of thing. So it goes over the top and then down to the metal axle under the transporter. All right, there we go. Here is the latch system. Okay, so it says over the top. And by the way, right now, like, it seems pretty, it does not seem very stable at all. It seems like it's gonna wiggle out from underneath. Okay, and here's the, oh, the 
changes down here. Tighten this. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at the instructions. All right, so the latch system is in place, and then put your car child in the car seat. Okay, child is asleep right now, so I can't put her in. But let's look at how sturdy this feels with an empty car seat. Okay, so I tightened the strap as much as I could. Okay, tighten that one as much as I could too. Let's see if I can pull it up top like that. Okay, and then it's supposed to be like this. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it kind of wobbles. Like, this moves quite a bit. And then it's kind of off. Like the back part doesn't really match up. Okay, so the idea is that you're supposed to be able to wheel your kid around the airport pretty easily. However, up on this side, it's not straight. So, I mean, this moves around a ton. And I'm just not, I feel like this is just gonna twist like that a bunch. So I'm not really convinced that this is going to work out. I'm actually not confident enough that I would put my kid in this and try and wheel them around. That's a bit disappointing considering the car seat stroller is about $50 and these straps don't really get that tight. And it could be because, you know, I'm average, but like there's a ton of slack here. But when I try to pull it, you know, it's still, there's still a ton of slack. So I feel like if there was a ratchet strap, it might feel a little bit more secure. And then there's the other issue of the bottom of the car seat and it's sitting on the caddy. So let's look at that. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it because the caddy is black and so is the car seat. But the sides of the car seat are here. And those stickers that they gave us for extra grip, they're really short. So, and my car seat wouldn't even extend onto it on one side. It would only work on one side. It would, one side of the car seat would feel the grip and not the other. So this doesn't seem, I mean, I don't know if you guys see, but it's kind of wobbly. You know, like, I just feel like I'm gonna be walking around the airport, there's gonna be a 25 pound kid in here, and then it's gonna do this. I'm likely not going to be putting my kid in this and wheeling them around the airport in an experiment to see if this thing flips over or not. It also seems a bit clumsy too. That seatbelt strap is just, it's really smooth on the end. So there isn't a whole lot of grip on it. So I see why it's so slack. You know, like this is really smooth. And it's just, I don't know, it doesn't feel very secure. So I don't think I'll be using this, but if you guys have a car seat stroller caddy, or if you even have this exact model and you figured out how to do it, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.